Good evening. The search warrants at the center of an investigation involving T. Daddy Sanford are unsealed. This follows a South Dakota Supreme Court ruling from October saying the public had a right to know about this high profile case involving the billionaire philanthropist. Hello, Lance Lauren Solik has been going through the warrants and she joins us now with the details on what she has found. Lauren. In 2019, a DCI special agent requested five search warrants. Each document includes Sanford's name and says officials were looking for evidence of possession and distribution of child pornography in Minnehaha County. Throughout 2019, investigators searched T. Denny Sanford's phone records and online accounts. The accounts include his AOL email account. They looked at everything sent and received from January 2019 through December 2019. Search warrants were also issued to Mid-Continent Communications and Verizon. The Midco warrant focused on a specific IP address he allegedly accessed on June 27, 2019. The Verizon warrants focused on specific dates in May and June of 2019. Midco and Verizon were prohibited from notifying Sanford about the warrants. The search warrants label Sanford as a defendant. However, the state has admitted that was a mistake as Sanford has not officially been charged. In a statement to Kelloland News, T. Denny Sanford's attorney, Marty Jack Lee, said the ultimate fact remains that the investigating authorities have not found information to support criminal charges. T. Denny Sanford is a longtime donor to the Sanford Health Organization and owner of First Premier Bank and Premier Bank Card. A statement from Sanford Health's president and CEO can be found on Kelloland.com. I reached out to First Premier Bank and Premier Bank Card as well for a statement, but have not heard back yet. You can, find, you can read the full documents connected with this investigation that are open to the public on Kelloland.com right now.